How's it been teaching in COVID? Because I'd imagine that it's hard to actually play over Zoom. Um, so how have you guys sort of dealt with that and how have you guys created new sort of solutions for, for teaching in this pandemic? Yeah, so there's, you know, everybody signs up to band for band either to be with their friends mm -hmm. or to play music or some combination of the both. Um, and that's really hard when the main thing that you're doing is the thing you can't do. <laughs> um, and so, you know, when this all started last March, which seems like literally yesterday, yeah. um, it was it was a little bit of, okay, like we're gonna take two weeks off and we'll see you back in April, right? Mm -hmm. And then it, you know, kind of became, okay, maybe, maybe not, like maybe this will oh. go to May. Um, and it became an ever adjusting kind of thing because the moment you can go back to regular band you want to play music mm -hmm. but until that time comes you're going to have to kind of create curriculum that we can do and and so we started with what what do we want kids to get out of this and what do we want kids to learn mm -hmm. and we said well we can't get rid of performing right there's an aspect of band that you have to be able to play an instrument and so a lot of that kind of came onto the kid's side of like, okay, we're gonna send you this etude or this exercise mm -hmm. and we're gonna have you record it um, and send it to us, right? And so, you know, the recordings aren't always great and, you know, the kids, you know, maybe can't always record that week and life gets in the way and stuff. And you have to understand that that's, that's what comes. And then yeah. we, we also had, so we had both um, kind of what we call asynchronous, which is like on your own time and mm -hmm. then synchronous, which is like, during the regular school day yeah um and for all the stuff during the regular school day we were like you know kids want to interact with each other but they also want to continue to learn stuff about band mm -hmm. so we kind of thought like you know what things would be interesting or cool or fun um for them to learn about and we thought well wow like all the things that we don't have time for when we're trying to get a concert ready and we're like, oh my gosh, we got to get those notes down faster, everybody, right? Like mm -hmm. all of those things that we don't get to of like the history behind a piece or, you know, how to like, when I say as a band director, like, oh, that's, you know, that chord's not fitting in. Well, what do I really mean by that? You know, mm -hmm. um, all of those elements of band that, you know, we, we kind of take for granted a little bit and yeah. we kind of dove into those and we, we did, you know, I mean, at this point, we've we've covered a lot because it just kind of it kept, it kept going. Yeah. Um, but we, I mean, we've done things between like actual composition. Um, mm -hmm. We've done um, written kind of music theory. We've done oral theory, um, which is like being able to identify chords and sounds just by the sound of them. Um, we've done things with film music um, mm -hmm. and kind of analyzing, you know, what does how is that different than regular band or classical music. Um, we've studied music of the world, um, some music of different cultures that they might not be accustomed to. Um, we've done like jazz theory. We've done <laughs> like what it takes to um, like create a marching band show, right? Like, cause a lot of kids, you know, like the director just says like, boop, here you go. Here's the marching band show. And everybody's yeah. like, cool. And so like some kids are like, well, how do you come to that decision? Mm -hmm. um, and so we just thought, you know, at the very least, hopefully, that's something that's interesting. Um, and, you know, I, I think a lot of kids got a lot of things out of it. And we also gave them the choice in there as well of, like, there was there was one section where um, my colleague was doing kind of written theory and I was doing film music, right? Mm -hmm. And so they happened at the same time and we kind of split the class in two, but we give them the option of like, hey, which one do you want to learn? Um, because we also recognize like this might be really terrible for some kids. Like they may really not want to do film music or music theory or something. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to give them the option to continue to enjoy what they're learning, right? Like yeah. hopefully they're already, they enjoy bands regularly um, and we want to allow it so that the enjoyment at least continues, even if the subject has kind of changed very slightly in one direction or another. But Yeah. Has it